Hey y'all, welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I'm Zach. I'm Jen. And we are about to show you the greatest lunch absolutely ever. You're gonna need a couple ingredients, but I promise you won't regret it. You need Valentina or however you say it. It's Mexican hot sauce and amazing. Cream cheese, original. Ow. Bell peppers, cut in half. Leftover chicken cutlets, which if you don't know what a chicken cutlet is, it's just a very finely pressed down piece of chicken that is fried in a very small amount of grease. And last but absolutely not least, the main ingredient, tagine. That ain't it. Yep. All right, how do we make this bad boy, babe? So cut your bell peppers in half, get all the seeds and stuff out. Um, get some cream cheese and just do a light layer. We like it light, you can do more if you want to. Um, and I, we just do it on one side, not both sides. And then get your tagine. Put as much as you want. More. Okay. Any more? <laughs> All right. Chicken cutlet. And Valentina. All the Valentina. Then take your other half of bell pepper, put it on top, make a Sammy. Make a Sammy. And squish. Yeah, you want to squish it, you kind of crack your bell peppers with a little place a little flatter. Scrumptious. <laughs> Give me a good. Mm. Nothing like it. And healthy. <laughs> 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 Look at that shit, son. Too bad Rusty's right in the middle of the shot. Hey, Rusty, <laughs> won't you move? Thanks. <laughs> All right, now we just need a bunch of three footers because that one's going to need on the back thumb. We're going to need four three footers and over here, two. So, six total three footers.
Okay, y'all. So we got back in the garden today and we did a raised bed level. We did it right, folks, didn't we, Jen? Yeah. All right, Great. so y'all just got to see it. Check that bad boy out. The first time we ever done anything on a slope like that and it actually turned out level. And you know what? I'm about to go get the level just to confirm and it's as close as possible. I don't be, I mean, I well, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, Jeff. Oh, wait, let's not go crazy. Hey, it looks better than anything else we made. But look at it. I think we just need to leave it at looks. <laughs> it, it, so basically what we did, we started with two. That one has a third one on the bottom. Y'all saw me use a chainsaw, so it's not like precisely cut. Um, but you got to remember, there's going to be rocks and stuff that are pushed up against there. And then down here is actually four of those pine boards. And then that last fourth one we cut down. So I did on the two by fours, two foot, one and a half foot, one foot. And that allowed me to get my slope all the way down. So yes, down here is 24 inches, um, which is a lot more soil you're probably thinking, but we're gonna fill it up with some old dead wood branches and stuff like that and fill the bottoms up because we don't need 24 inches of soil on there to grow. But for look quality, it looks good because it flows with the ground. All right. Remember, I still eyeballed it, but Jeff King, this is for you. I got a level out. Can y'all see it? It's close enough. It's close enough. It's closer than anything else I've ever done. Let's give it at that. Isn't that right, Jeff? What about this side? Oh, this side. Let's check this side. That was a little worse. That was a little worse. That's all right. That one's a little better. So, hey. Overall, though, the goal of trying to do this for the garden is so, <coughs> excuse me, so the beds aren't so sloped when we put seeds in it and stuff like that, it washes it all out. The whole goal of it is to be as close as possible to level on a severe slope, and that's what we did. And it looks good. Like I said, we'll have the rocks and stuff up there, uh, and it'll work out well. Only slight problem is to keep it looking good, we're going to have to run this 24-inch like the rest of that way um, to make it look all right and then start taking it back up to 12 inches to the top. But that's okay, it'll be all right. It's just a lot more wood and screws, so it's not as cheap as I was planning on being, but still cheaper than buying big old two by 12 inch boards. So it works. Okay, so you got to see a little bit of our favorite lunch. You got to see us make a little garden progress and that's Christmas activity time. Yeah. So what are we doing, babe? Um, we're behind, but today we're going to learn about Zechariah. Zechariah. All right, we're to read our verse. We're going to read Luke 1, 5 through 25. That was odd. <laughs> now you have to use the real Bible. Is this containing the Old and New Testaments? Oh, God. <laughs> There's a lot missing there. <laughs> Look, this is what the end of it should be. And it's literally just this. Something's missing. There's a lot missing. Hmm. Maybe because it's a kid's Bible, they didn't put in the... The deets. I mean, the gospel's pretty important. I don't know why they wouldn't have it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to read Luke 1, 5 through 25. His wife, Elizabeth was also from the pre priestly line of Aaron. <clears throat> Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all the Lord's commandments and regulations. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, so do you understand what happened? Yeah. Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth could not have a child because they were too old. But God came to them and said, you're going to have a child, and you're going to be a very important child, and you will proceed um, Jesus in his birth. Yeah. And... Zachariah doubted God and he said that that can't be right, we're too old. And God said, well, just because you didn't believe me just now, you're not going to be able to speak until your child is born. You Wait, know so it. like, he, had, he couldn't speak for nine months. Because mm -hmm. he didn't believe. You a good guy? He keeps saying it for the blues, it's fine. <laughs> hey, give him a couple of eyes there, mommy. Alright, well, first we need to do the hair. Look at that, right there. Would you just look at it? So we ready to crumple up your hair. You just came like. I love it. I love it. I love that was a bow. What? Jump. Oh no, the nose is not out. 
All right, so it says, use your mouth for good today. Say, I believe what God says while standing on one foot. Now say it while spinning around. I believe what God says. I believe what God says. You did. I believe what God says. There you pick one leg up. <laughs> no, pick one leg Stop. <laughs> Look, stand up. Pick one leg up. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> now see it's if like, you can say it while you hold your tongue. I believe what God says. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I believe what God says. That's what it would sound like if you lost it. You lost your <laughs> All right, that was fun. Yes. All right, so that was a fun little Christmas thing. Yeah. <laughs> Activity. That's the trees and the tinsel, which the we talked about tinsel. a few days ago. Yes. Um, and we love it. It's really cool. Um, I wanted to show everyone this afghan that Miss Bonnie made for us. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. I had it on me this afternoon because I could not warm up. And so it it's actually our cozy. burst oats. Yep. Which and is really anniversary. Cool. And anniversary. Oh. Very neat. Thank you so much. Yes. We love it. Thank you. Okay, so today was a fun day. Um, I'm glad that we were able to get a little another piece of the garden done. It's like I told her, it's just nice to just keep making progress. Like it doesn't have to all be done overnight. Um, like I had mentioned before, we rarely get much daylight to do grow work right. uh, other than maintain it in the winter because it just gets so dark so early and where we're both busy during the day. But made a little progress. I try the chicken cutlet on bell yes. pepper with cream cheese and tagine. Like you are um, not gonna regret let's it. Let's link the specific ingredients. But yeah. We'll link the recipe because I haven't done a video and I don't know if I'll get to it. So we'll just put the recipe down below. Yeah, and mainly the recipe will be the breading for the chicken cutlet. Right. Um, other than that, it was exactly what we showed you. Pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. Um, and then truth and tinsel. I call that a good Thursday. I think so. All right, y'all. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to down below. That's right, we love y'all. Until the next one. Bye. Bye. Let's just not worry about the food. Bonus footage. The kids wanted to make Jed a stocking. So we don't have any spare stockings. Don't but we, tell Jed. But we do have two socks. <laughs>